Hey everyone, it has been a minute. And the reason for that is since we left you last time, which was over a month ago now, unbelievably, we've had a little bit of a nightmare with our shipping and we essentially wanted to make this video as a follow-up to explain what's going on, but also as a bit of a warning for anyone that's thinking about shipping in the future. We wanted to start with the scene of us in our van to share the good news at the end of all of this and as well, just say that a lot of the footage that is about to follow was filmed very raw at the moment. Um, and now that we've had some time to digest everything, you know, we're a lot more calm about it than we were at that time. But yeah, again, we're sharing our story today with you. And his Aki. And you might be wondering, where is our van? What is happening there? Well, it is still being held up in customs at the moment. And that's the reason it hasn't been released. Yeah. And I talked to Lee, they need me at the show, and I just don't want to wait in around a whole another week. So it is December 3rd, we've now finished the One of a Kind show very successfully. <laughs> Is Max selling chai or is he talking about his YouTube channel? We've already bought. Yeah, He's already bought that. Dude, chai. So look at this. Yeah. And we're still dealing with our shipping issues. Um, it has been nearly a month since the van has been at the port and we've just found out a whole lot more that is actually happening. Our van has finally been released by customs, but the next step is to get it released by the shipping line and then released from the port. But the port has done the shipping line with about six thousand dollars of charges from demurrage and line detention from the vehicle not being moved even though it was held up by customs this has turned into a lot bigger issue than we actually expected it to be I anyway think, uh, we'll keep you guys updated and hopefully you know we get onto the right person and we can kind of resolve this in the best case scenario but you know the last thing we kind of wanted to do right now is pick up the camera but at the same time i feel like we need to kind of keep track of all of this stuff because we this could end up being legal um, matters and so it's good for our own records as well but Tattoos if they want the rep if they want the exact same one. Maybe Christian will be our first taker. I love it because it looks like Aki's on your boobs. I would get Aki on both boobs. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's done.
What do you get in? It's next, Amen. I don't know. I think Crystal's next. He's too keen. Yeah, I know. We're making him next. My question was if you could try to reach out to our shipper as, you know, a different party since he's ignoring us. Yeah. Our freight forwarder, our shipper that we hired to help us get our van onto the boat in Chile and into LA. For whatever reason, his company's bank accounts are frozen, therefore he hasn't paid anybody anything. We're at a standstill because of his negligence and it is costing us thousands of dollars. We have been on the phone back and forth between shipping lines, the port, the customs, like they're all just sending us around from one person to the next and nobody's taking responsibility for the situation. I don't even understand who made these charges because no company that we were talking to can even send me a list of what the charges mean, who implemented the charges, like we were working into a huge operation here that there's obviously a million people, like different staff members working, but nobody is able to help us. Okay, so that's an update of where we're at now. It's been over a month that it's been in the shipping yards and yeah, we're just trying to figure it out. If anyone's wondering, we are talking for some legal advice as well. We're trying to figure out as many ways as we can and even though we're getting passed around, some people have been really nice. It's just trying to find the person that has the right answers for us. Let's get together. Let's get together. Let's get together. Everybody, let's get together. Let's get together. Let's get together. Like family. It's been snowing for the past like 24 hours. Everything has just become very clear in the last day or two that we are being absolutely royally screwed over by our freight forwarder, Gaston, who is Chilean that lives in Miami. Um, we have paid him in full, cumulatively over $6,000 for our entire container to deal with every single part of the process. And we have just found out that he hasn't even paid the Chilean end of the shipping line, which means that they will not release our original bill of lading until they get those payments. He guessed on our, ship, our freight forwarder cannot pay that bill because his accounts are all frozen. He has also broken communication. He will not speak to us on the phone. He barely answers his emails. So at the moment, the only thing we can actually do to move forward is pay the Chilean shipping line ourselves again, which currently is 2,700 US dollars to get it released, to get the original bill of landing changed to an express, um, to then get it electronically sent over to the port. Then we have to deal with the demerge and line detention charges, which have been adding up to three to $400 more a day. We're already at 7,000 US dollars for that. So we are pleading our case to anybody and everybody we can talk to to try to help get those taken down, but those charges are all a result of Gaston. Um, not doing anything properly and therefore screwing us over. So we're also trying to pay the Chilean shipping line on the hopes that Gaston's going to sign an agreement saying that he'll pay us back. But it's also unclear to us if his accounts are just frozen or if he's a filed for bankruptcy. And if he's filed for bankruptcy, you're like, we're not getting any of that money back. So this mess has gone bigger, but we're going to start oh, guess calling and yeah. But at least there's nice snowy winter wonderland outside. Did you I show, show them? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's time to start I've, emailing and calling. Yeah, I feel like things are going to turn around soon. 
So after some further investigation, it is apparent that we have just been completely scammed by our freight forwarder, which is completely our responsibility to now deal with. We just want to make sure that this doesn't, doesn't happen to anybody else um, who is shipping their vans, and we are going to do what we can about it afterwards, but for now we yeah. need to just keep this under wraps and, and deal with it. Yeah. It's only money, Lee. It's only money. It's $12,000, Max! Lee, it's only money. People lose a lot more than that. You know, like, we... I just feel like an idiot, too, because we didn't do any research on Gaston. We just blindly trusted. We trusted everything was going to work out, and it hasn't. And now we're f***ed, and it's only our fault to be f***ed. Well, it's Lee, it's... It's not... 100% our fault. Lee, we trusted Gaston. We trusted a person that is a freight forwarder and he has taken our money. That is not 100% our fault. Yeah, well, if we looked up, we would have saw all these warnings. Like, all these people had to pay twice. And then we had to pay another 7000 on top of that. Um, so I'm just heading to the bank now to pay... 2,745 US dollars to cover the cost of the payment on the Chilean side. So basically just starting the process over of paying the proper fees to the right people this time. The but fees. as Max said, it's just money. The fees we'll we've already back. paid. Yeah. And whilst Lee's doing that, I'm going to start drafting up an email. Um, essentially, we're just trying to keep a really clear paper trail here. So, if this does become a legal case, we're treating it as if it already is. So, if it becomes a legal case, we've got all clear paperwork that we've about how much we've tried to resolve this and how much things have kind of been out of our control. But, yeah. Gosh, that's way too hot. I ran through that idea way better in my head. Anyway, good morning. It is yet another day without any news. And to be quite honest, Max and I are starting to feel a little bit directionless and cabin feverish um, because we can't really move on until we resolve these van issues, but we are trying to push through and stay positive. So Max actually just took Aki out for a little walk to get a hint some exercise, and that gives me a chance to sit down and work on some things that I've been excited about doing for a little while. It's been almost two years now of us sharing videos with you and creating and you know really enjoying the cinematic side of things and an interest of mine that I kind of have when I was a child but I'm re-exploring now is to start building a portfolio to shoot wedding videography. So there is actually a course by a guy named Matty Hapoya. I found him online through Peter McKinnon. Um, he's Toronto based. He shares a lot of his skills and he actually put a, a full videography course out on Skillshare that I've been meaning to check out because he gives an insight into what cameras he uses, how to shoot different angles, you know, basically like a all in one get started into wedding videography. So something I'm really excited to dig into today and it's kind of the silver lining in the situation is we are at home with family in the meantime, roof over our heads and constant access to Wi-Fi and a lot of other luxuries that we haven't had in the van. So we're trying to really push through. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can really plug in and pursue any passions that you might have and things that you're interested in and maybe it's some things from 2019 that you have always said you wanted to do but now that we're in 2020 you can try it yourself. Skillshare is offering everybody here two months of free membership which means that for the first two months of 2020 you can kick it off right and start you know learning anything new that you've been excited about whether it's videography or cooking or painting or really anything. You can head over to the link in the description after your first two months. If you do enjoy it, you want to keep going, it's only around $10 a month to have access to all of these online courses. So both Max and I are huge proponents of personal growth and learning and having all this access to you 
on your computer in the comfort of your home is pretty awesome to us. So thank you Skillshare for working with us and sponsoring this video. Good morning. Remember when I was frustrated on, what was it, day 16? What day do you reckon it is now, Lee? Uh, 30 something two, Lee said. Um, so last night we actually received the first bit of good news in quite a while in that we talked to a couple of people high up in the port. It seems that kind of words getting around about this disaster that's going on with our container and they were super nice, seemed very helpful and they are talking to the shipping line at the moment to see whether the charges can be reduced because essentially they're trying to charge us from the 12th of November but our for anyone that knows the shipping business, our container was put on a 1H hold on the 12th which is a hold by customs and wasn't released till the 2nd of December. And a 1H hold, technically, you shouldn't be being charged, demurrage or line detention during that time. But we, our charges have charged the whole time. So they're going into bat for us to see if they can get those charges dropped. So we're just being charged from the second, which will make a huge difference. Because it will go from like 20 days of charges to 3 days of charges. Um, so we're waiting to hear that back. But that could be, you know, even they said we can't make any promises. But... That could be huge for us. Like it literally could be five or six thousand dollars of difference. Um, so that's good news. Also, this morning, the shipping agent at Prime Logistics in Chile, who I've been talking to, he's received our payment and he's just confirmed that he can do a telex release, which essentially means rather than him having to send the original copy of the bill of landing by courier to Houston, where the MSC shipping office is, which is what was going to have to happen. Instead, he can change it on the computer system and means that rather than waiting till Monday, we could potentially be getting the van released today after 30 something, two days. So, you know, we really don't want to get too hopeful because everything so far, like we get hopeful and then something kind of worse happens, but we're still trying to maintain a little bit of positivity and maybe today is the day. We'll check back in a little bit. <laughs> so just to take our minds off all the shipping drama, we've come back down to Toronto to hang out with the A team. We oh, missed the A team. Back. Oh, woo -woo. Oh, on that. Yeah, and we are actually filming, oh, helping them film a shoot, <laughs> having tons of fun doing so and playing around with their new camera gear. And we're and gonna be taking our Aussie uh, friends, testing his skills on some ice later. So yes, that Max. Be interesting, eh, Max? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> Bought him oh. a pair of gloves just because I'm pretty confident he's gonna need them when he falls. <laughs> or he's gonna need them when he's holding onto the kitty rack. Yeah. <laughs> Either we'll way, see. it has been a very nice distraction from the shipping, and we friends still have no make everything better. Yeah. We were just in the gym and we were both separate and got the email at the same time that the Port of LA has helped us reduce the diverge charges to only a storage fee of $24 a day which, instead of 300 and something. Which so we both came up to each other crying in the gym <laughs> pretty much because we sort of know if that includes the line detention charges but if it does it's essentially gone from almost 8,000 US dollars to 600 and something dollars so Finally, some good news, and we, we're going to confirm all those things now, but we just can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've had official confirmation that $648 is all the charges we're receiving from the port. We paid for those straight after getting out of the gym yesterday, and last night we had the container picked up by a trucking company, and they brought it to a warehouse. We've had it confirmed this morning. The container is out of the port. It is in the warehouse and our good friends, the van wives, are going to go grab it for us. Let's check in with them. We are on route to get Max and Lee's van. Woo! I wonder how Aki's feeling. I wonder if he's going to recognize it. Oh, Aki, are we going to get your home, buddy? Is he going to recognize the van? Yeah. Oh. Are you going to give us a tour? Good boy. All the kisses always. <laughs> Do you see it? Parked by the ramp? There's a van in there. There it is. Oh, 
Ready to go back home? Whose house is this? Oh! Whose house is that? Is that your house, buddy? Go ahead, is this your home? Three Aussies in a new van! Good boy! Good boy, Mr. Aki! Are you happy to have your house back? Are you happy to have your house back? Oh. We're gonna miss you, but we're gonna see you soon, okay, bud? You stay right here and wait for your mom and dad. Bye, buddy! Bye, Mr. Aki! Oh! <laughs> That brings us back to the present moment. First, we wanna thank all of our friends and family who've been helping us through this whole month and a half, two month long process. Specifically, the van wives who are the ones that just picked up our van for us and brought it back to Kelly and Barbara's. Kelly and Barbara, thank you. We we're parked at their house at the moment and they have been incredibly um, supportive for us. Yeah, without everyone kind of having our back and that includes you guys online. So many people when we posted stories on Instagram and everything was sending us messages of support and yeah. really all that support we got from everyone including the people higher up in the port in the end that got after us like that's what got us through this and because at the time we were looking at you know potentially being down another eight thousand dollars we're still chasing up four and a half thousand from our shipping agent that we're out that's between us and Jordan the other guy with the van yeah but and it's really more so than the money this whole experience has just been really emotionally drain draining so we're very happy to almost be done with it and put it behind us and move on yeah. um in saying that the whole situation has rocked us a little bit so We've kind of put our current travel plans on hold and yeah we're just going to reevaluate kind of from here but um you know if you are looking to ship in the future please make sure you do due diligence with who you're shipping with and go with someone reputable don't always take the cheapest option i feel like that might have been our mistake in this time is we went with the cheapest guy and we paid for it we paid for it yeah so yeah see you when you see you thanks for watching guys bye Let's get together, let's get together, let's get together, everybody.